Okay guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today is the finale. At the end of this episode here we're going to get the wheels in place, the body is done um, we're going to be good to go. So um, before we actually get started what I would like to say is that if you have watched this far thank you so much for um, sticking with us. I hope you've managed to get something put together here. Now I will ask that if you have finished and you do have some final renders or images please link them in the comments below so I can have a look. Um, I'll give you some pointers on going forward um, but also I want those who have stuck with this tutorial this whole time to suggest in the comments below of what car you'd like me to model next. So I'm happy to do any type of car as long as I can find some nice high detailed blueprints. So if you request a car down below um, we will start a tutorial specifically on that car. Um, if there's a car which is favorited by a um, comment that is liked by quite a few people, um, I'll aim to do the most popular. So if there is a car that you would like to model and you're not sure where to start, put that in the comments below and we'll see about putting together a new tutorial for that um, over the next few weeks or so. But for now what we're going to do is get our wheel into our scene here. So I've got the old wheels that I had before deleted from my model here and what I've done is in the external file that we created our wheel in I just selected the whole wheel um, all of the information inside I just copied it control C and I pasted it into this document purely no exports or anything like that I just had Maya open in two windows copied it from our original document and pasted it inside here control C control V and what we're going to be doing here is we are going to be putting this in position, talking real quick about um, the suspension and the way that we're going to have this in, and then we'll be good to go. Now, mostly when we bring this in, what's going to happen when we start to move this is it's going to absolutely go crazy here. So what we can do first is if we deselect the wheel, it's always handy to make sure that your cars um, combine together at this stage, um, just so that you can select everything here and then deselect the car. That's going to allow us to move this wheel inside here. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to control G to group this together and we're just going to rotate this around, um, so just take this back to the center here, I'm going to hit G, we're just going to rotate this around because we did make it on a different axis in our last file. Now what I'm actually going to do is I am going to, um, for now, I'm going to combine. And what happens when you combine elements is they will just sit together just like a grouped element but they'll be continuously grouped so every time we select this it'll bring up all the sections here and if you don't go through and merge all the vertices that we have before we can just hit edit uh, we can just hit mesh and separate and that will take all of the parts um, apart again so we can have these this element here combined it's going to allow us to move it around what we're going to want to do before we do anything else is we are going to want to hit X and we're going to want to snap this somewhere on the grid so it can be anywhere for now and what will happen is the middle of the car here will be put um, exactly on the grid for us. So what we're going to want to do is it might be easier if we aim for a main grid point. So I'm going to aim for the actual final grid point that I can see here. So I'm going to hit X and I'm going to bring it over to that main grid point and it's on the central one just so it's easy for me to notice. And what I'm going to do for position in this is I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to pull it up so it's sat almost exactly on the grid if I go in my side views here. Okay. So I want this to be almost exactly on the grid so maybe I'll scale this down just so it's a bit easier to handle just now. So I'll bring this down here. And what I'm going to do is I want the bottom of this wheel to be exactly at the bottom of the grid there. So just here that'll be fine. And what I'm going to do is I am going to hit D again so we're going to move this pivot. I am going to hit X and I want this to snap to the location that I just snapped the tire to. So I want this to snap to that last grid piece just there. So make sure that you snapped it to a fairly easy one. So that means that our pivot is still in the center of the tire here, but it means it's at the bottom. So when we are now scaling and rotating, it's going to rotate from the bottom and it's going to always stay on top of that grid there. This is going to allow us here to put this in the same position as the wheel on our blueprint here. 
So we'll scale that down so it matches the same size. Bring that in. And then we can move it over here into position. So something like that. Now what I always like to do is I always like to be a little bit ghetto with my cars that I model and I always like to make the suspension nice and low. I just feel like it looks a little bit nicer when it comes to rendering so I'm just going to push that up just a little bit there. And with it going up I think I'm just going to centre it in the arch a little bit more and just go a little bit further forward. So you can see there that that's looking pretty good. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab this wheel again, we're going to want to hit Ctrl D to duplicate, and we're going to want to take this to the back. And this is why we put the pivot in the location that we did. The reason we've done this is because the back wheels on supercars is always bigger. So it's probably going to be a case that we've got 20 inch on the front, maybe 21 or 22 on the back. Um, so with our pivot at the bottom here we can scale this up. And we want to scale this up again so it's sitting nicely in that wheel arch there. Make sure that it's bang in the middle here. And then we're just going to want to adjust it here to make sure that it's sitting nicely inside this wheel arch as well. Okay guys, we're back. Um, had a little issue with recording and an even bigger issue with um, some of the materials there. but. Um, we've got the wheels in position. So what I was going to explain here is that basically what we want to always ensure when it comes to these wheels is this is going to make or break your model. And it's going to be a case that if you make the wheels too big, it's going to look ridiculous. If you make it too low, it's going to look ridiculous. And if you have too much of a high ride height, it's going to look ridiculous. So you want to make sure that you get the placement here looking pretty good. You also want to make sure that the wheels aren't coming out of the arch. You want to make sure that they're sitting pretty flush or just inset slightly. You don't want to be bursting out. So make sure that your wheels are sat inside the actual lip of the arch there. Um, just underneath here we can see that that's looking pretty good. And we can see that these new wheels here is quite set off the actual car quite nicely. And what we'll do is we'll grab these and we're going to hit Control D, Control G and negative one on that X axis and that should flip them over to the other side for us. So just make sure that you've got them roughly in the right position, not too big, not too small, um, not protruding out at the edges or anything like that. And to me that's looking pretty good. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. You must have if you've lasted more than 20 episodes in order to watch episode 23 I believe this will be. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please like, please subscribe and please comment in the comment section below and tell me what car you would like us to model next. Um, again thank you so much for sticking with the series and make sure that if you are or have finished uh, working your way through this that you do send us an image um, in the maybe link it in the comments below so we can see what yours is looking like and yeah that's looking good yeah cool okay guys so please like the video please subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one